Let's get right into it. MP3 or WAV, which one is better? I believe that a WAV file is much better. It has much more uh, information or data stored in the actual file. And so what that means is on playback, uh, if you're using the right sound system, you can hear more detail in your song. It's an uncompressed lossless file, whereas an MP3 file has been compressed. The inf some of the information has been smushed or lost to make that, smile the, sorry, that file smaller and easier to transfer. Basically, it's like taking 8K or a 4K movie that's your WAV file and compressing it down into a VHS and playing it back on a VCR so you have this incredible picture on 8 or 4k and then you tape it and then you play it in a VCR and basically it doesn't really matter that it's 8 or 4k when you're you're watching it on a VCR what does that mean for the professional and commercial industry a lot of people aren't going to be able to tell the difference between a WAV file and an mp3 file that doesn't mean that you as an artist or even an engineer should use an mp3 file just because listeners won't be able to tell it. When you have those uncompressed lossless files and you have those details to work with, sending that to an engineer, they have more information to make their decisions off of when they're mixing your song. And also when you're sharing your song with uh, professionals, they'll be able to tell, they'll be able to see the difference. So to show you what, what happens to a WAV file when it is converted into an MP3 file, I'm gonna demonstrate for you and you'll be able to hear the difference. So that's the kind of loss that you'll have when you're playing back WAV files in an MP3 format. Many platforms like Spotify and SoundCloud They'll compress your music, even if it's a WAV file, they'll compress it anyways, just to make the file size smaller. They have their own settings and compressors that minimize any risk that your music might be piercing or whatever sounds are being uploaded are harsh. I still think that means that you should definitely be working with WAV files because those are the lossless uncompressed versions and make better, more informed decisions about your music using those files. Same goes for uh, purchasing a beat or recording vocals, I highly, highly recommend recording it all or purchasing it all in WAV format. Now I understand that sometimes it's not possible, it's expensive, but where you can, you should. And finally, I just wanna say, you should definitely be using WAV files. It's kind of fun, it's part of the craft to be able to tell the difference between an MP3 and a WAV file and know the quality difference, or even when you listen to someone else's work. Like for me, for example, most of the time I can tell the difference between a WAV file and an MP3 file when I listen to it in here. I can tell if a client is sending me something even if they're not that great and they're sending me WAV files that tells me something that tells me that they they know what they need to do to get the best sound and they're serious about their music and they want to take it further and I enjoy working with WAV files myself because I know I'm getting the best version I can do my best work working with a WAV file I think we got that I'll catch you guys next time peace